Feline and welcome to another Plan With Me video. So today we're going to be planning the last week of September. And for the theme, we are, we are actually going to be doing The Simpsons. Um, that's because uh, I actually found these booster packs from the 99 cent store. And I have already opened them, you know, because I had to make sure that I could actually use the images. But yeah, it, I think it's going to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, I found these guys at the 99 cent store and I bought two of them. And this is basically what it looks like. So these are basically booster packs for like a card game. And so let me show you what the, the cards really look like. So pretty much, you know, they do have images on them. And this, well, these guys are the ones. Well, Krusty, I'm, I'm still debating if I want to use Krusty or not. Just because all kind of all his images are kind of angry or tired or sad. But I guess that is Krusty the Clown. <laughs> um, and then, of course, this is the intro, one of the intro scenes from The Simpsons, and then Bart. So I have already cut up some images that I liked, just to, you know, just so you guys don't have to watch the tedious um, process of cutting everything up. So let me show you. So I have, I have a, let me take this off first so you guys can see better. So I have Mr. Burns right here. I have Ned Flanders with his left power. <laughs> Because he's left-handed. So something funny about this card. Um, the background, you know, there's it's basically like a whole picture of him in front of his... Uh, oh, what am I going to do? Upside down. <laughs> it's basically a picture of him in, his, in front of his left-hand store. Um, I'm not left-handed, but I think if anybody who is, like this would be so perfect for them. Just because you could cut out even more of the posters. Let me see if, you get, if I could focus. Yeah. The more of the posters like in his store and you could put it on your planner. But... Yeah, I'm just gonna use Ned just because, you know, it's Ned Flanders and then it's the only thing I have. I was thinking about maybe like changing his logo, but then his t-shirt also says, um, I'm a lefty for the right. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then I have a uh, Itchy and Scratchy. Let's see what else. Oh, I got a card that has Homer on it and also one of Lisa. And then um, on the back part, this is pretty much all the people that I really like that I could actually cut out. And then the back part you have, you know, the Simpsons logo and then Bart's head and Homer's head. So I also cut that out. So hopefully I could use these, you know, in the planner. Well, I'm pretty sure I will find a place in the planner. Um, another thing I want to try to do today is also um, do a background of the Simpsons living room. And, and I will be using these Blick Studio alcohol markers and also these Micron um, archival ink pens. Also the washi, washies that I'm using today um, is probably going to be some kind of yellow and then I have these two washies, I think they got it from Hobby Lobby and it's, bas it's basically donuts and also some sprinkles. So let's just go ahead and get started. And at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and go over um, everything if I added anything new. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm going to go ahead and start coloring the background to um, the Simpsons living room that I kind of drew up earlier. And so today I'm going to be using, or to color this background, I'm going to be using some alcohol markers. So this is actually the first time I'm, I'm going to be using them. So I'm not very good with alcohol markers. Um, these brand or this brand is by Blick Studios and they're pretty much um, comparable to Copics um, they're just kind of like the low-end brand so they're, they are a lot cheaper but they pretty much work the same it's um, alcohol ink so you, you do have to get like a special paper for it just because they do bleed through the paper quite a bit so like I said um, I already drew the, the background already and I outlined it and now I'm just gonna trace it again with some uh, micron pen. So these are archival um, waterproof micron pens. So just in case you know when I'm coloring, it's not gonna smudge on me. So let's see what else? The paper that I'm using is this Canson marker paper that I got from um, Amazon, and they're pretty thin. So first, and oh yeah, so I'll list all the colors that. Um, that I'm going to be using in the you know this uh, description down below, 
I couldn't really get the exact match on every single color of the background for the Simpsons living room, but you know, I, I just basically got the closest one. So first I'm going to be using the 05 uh, Micron pen, and I'm just going to basically outline everything. Background's done. Um, I did notice that you know the micron pen did smudge a little bit. I probably just didn't let it dry long enough um, in the beginning. That's probably why it started smudging when I right away when I tried to ink it. But yeah, and then um, I just cut it down to size. So the square size for the living room. So it's four and a half inches wide and five inches long and that's including that's covering the titles here too so yeah I'm just gonna paste it right there okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my layout and I'll see you guys in the end
so um, yeah, so I had to add a few characters in here just because from the booster packs, um, I was only able to get you know Lisa, Homer, and Bart, and then like another Homer head. So I wanted the whole family in it, so I actually just drew my own Maggie and I put her over here, and also Marge over here. And um, I also created the Simpsons TV for the itchy and scratchy cutout that I had. And I thought it turned out pretty well. I'm actually very happy about it. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and I also have Mr. Burns right here. I, yeah, I wanted to put Ned in here, but this image just didn't fit in anywhere. So maybe I'll use it for another project. But yeah, for the background for these, I used the stress ink. And you no, know, you guys probably saw earlier the coloring for the background of the Simpsons living room was with um, Blix uh, Studio alcohol markers. So I am very new to alcohol markers and um, alcohol marker paper. So I kind of did make a few mistakes. Um, I didn't let the ink dry when I was um, doing the line work for um, for the background, and then I started coloring. And as you can tell, you'll probably see that the um, what is it? The outline basically started to smear. So I actually had to take a leave and then um, come back and then finish up the rest of the the rug and then there was no smearing. So I realize now that this type of paper, um, it's supposed to be, or it's not supposed to let the ink soak in too fast just because with alcohol inks, that's basically how you blend. Is you want to blend quick, just so when the ink is still wet a little bit, they blend in a little bit more nicely. Yeah, did the same mistake with Marge's mouth, just because I just wanted to get it done. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I really like my Mr. Burns over here. He's basically telling me that these are the stuff I have to do throughout the week. So I thought this was perfect. And then a few stickers that I added, these two were from the Happy Planner quilt stickers. And this one says, laugh as much as you breathe, love as much as you live. And also um, for this one, it just says, you know, make today count. I also added these two donut stickers, which is from this sheet right here. I don't want to take it out just because I still got to take pictures. <laughs> um, but yeah, these, um, these shiny holographic donut stickers, I actually just got them at a random dollar store. A long long time ago um, yeah so I thought I add them in here but I love my donut and sprinkle outlines I thought you fit this theme super well all right so that's pretty much it um, I just want to thank you guys again for watching and I really appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me and it just helped me motivate to do more of this type of um, this type of planning I know um, you know this is not practical for everybody but you know, it is, a, it is something that I do enjoy doing in my own planner and I hope that it does inspire you guys to be more creative um, um, basically working on your happy planner. So if you guys um, like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!